Let's just make it big. Yeah. So I just do the. Let me start over. This is the Solar Flare update for October 28, 2014 to November 4th, 2014. And I just want to start off and say that uh, throughout this last week we've had a, a ridiculous amount of solar flares, and I'll show you in just like a second um, in the video. But this is a, a little chart of yesterday and today. Um, you can see there's a solar flare that almost got up to X, but uh, didn't quite reach it. Um, so I'm just going to go over here and play this little video and show you all the uh, all the activity in the sun. And it's actually been a lot of activity. And I've noticed uh, like that one there. Um, there's a lot more coming. It reminds wow. me of what happened in 2012. There was a lot of solar activity in that year. And... Um, People were assuming that the sun, uh, last week we said that the sun was heading towards a solar minimum, um, but it does not look like that happened. You can see that one right there. Um, I'm just going to take that back real quick and show you that one because um, there's something special about this one. You can see right here uh, that these, that's a lot of uh, sun magnets. A lot of ions um, and protons, and this right here is what affects the satellites and the magnetic sh uh, force field of Earth. Um, I'm not quite sure if this is Earth directed because I only had uh, about an hour to get ready to show, but um, this right here is pretty ridiculous for a for a, a flare, and it didn't even register as X, which is uh, very interesting. It registered as a moderate flare. Um, so I'm just going to keep continuing with that, and there's still continuing with uh, CMEs, and I'm not sure what that was. Right there. Um, it looks like there is some sort of flash. Do you see that right here in the corner right there, guys? Yeah. Is that a planet? or Before there yeah. was maybe a That's planet. That's part of that one thing that was flying by in the beginning. I believe that was Mercury that was over there, but... It's interesting that it, uh, it was... Yeah, it's only there for a second. So, I don't know. If anybody has any ideas, let us know. It's got to um, be a UFO. A UFO. And <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's just been a lot of activity with the sun, and which means that we're going to have a lot, of a lot of activity within our own uh, consciousness. Um, that was the giant one right there. And... Uh. My consciousness exploded. I had this theory that these little circles were UFOs coming out of the sun, um, coming out of the black hole in the sun. So I've heard that same exact thing, that the sun essentially is a portal, yeah. uh, so light and sun ships can come through it. Yep. Bam. Yeah. And that's, that's it for that week. So uh, that was the solar flare update for this week, and we're going to head it... Um, we're going to send it over to Nick. Are we sending it over to Nick? Yep. 